Hi, I'm Kwai Chi, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can keep up to date with all the marketing how to's. And remember to submit your question on this video or any in this series uh, to get a video response just like this one. So, I've just had a question uh, from Tracy Horner from Care International, uh, and it's quite a long question, so I'll just read it out for you. Um, it's really a general question of whether there is any evidence that engaging with bloggers, potentially taking someone on a trip to see our work in the field, will really generate new lenders for us, as opposed to general awareness. I've heard mixed reports. I know Save the Children took a mummy blogger to the field, but I heard that it didn't actually result in money raised. Same with video and YouTube advertising. With our limited resources, i.e. two people at Lend With Care, neither of whom are experienced in this area, should we focus on creating video content and getting it shared? How would we get it shared? And will this result in new lenders or just awareness? If the answer is yes, what sort of video should we be creating and how might we resource this with a small budget? So that's a full on question there. First of all, if you want to create video content, that's great. It's got to be really engaging. It's got to be something that people can really tune themselves into. Something that people will really get engaged with, really emotive. Um, or it's got to be quite funny uh, and it's got to capture someone's imagination. The problem with a lot of these uh, charity infomercial, we need money uh, now kind of videos is that they tend to be dry and there are a lot of them on the market. Uh, we see them on the TV all the time and we kind of tune out to the message because we've seen it so many times before. To create something new and engaging is quite tricky uh, and so a lot of companies, a lot of charities are using top bloggers to, uh, like you say, take them out to the field and actually show them their perspective of what the money is going to or what it's achieving. Now that kind of stuff uh, is quite dated now so if you look back at the 80s and 90s uh, and you look at Comet Relief that's the kind of stuff they used to do a lot of. They still do that now uh, but the things that really get fundraising, you know, the things that really get people engaged are when those celebrities who go out to different places are actually set challenges uh, or they do something very interesting that people can actually follow and you know really get to grips with. I think um, the issue is that uh, the content that a lot of people are thinking of is okay let's make a video uh, that we can stick up and we'll live online forever and people will find it they will connect with it and then they'll click on a link and uh, donate some money. Well, actually the things that do really well, uh, as Comic Relief highlighted recently, uh, are big challenges with people that people connect with um, very well. So, um, you know, getting people to do a crazy adventure uh, and, you know, these are well-known people, uh, set them lots of challenges and actually update the public in real time or at least daily uh, as to how they're doing is more captivating and actually sparks the imagination a lot more than a video uh, that kind of highlights the what the campaign is all about. Now uh, Lend With Care uh, is trying to raise awareness for, um, or sorry, Care International is trying to raise awareness for Lend With Care. Um, and Lend With Care is a very tricky thing to explain to people as a microfinance charity that lends money to small businesses uh, in less well-off areas uh, so that they can raise money or rather they can start businesses uh, in their small communities uh, that will make a difference, will drive growth in the long term when they employ people and become more successful. Um, but it's quite a difficult model to kind of really explain uh, in uh, those simplified terms. So. Uh, trying to uh, get somebody out on the field is a good idea if there is something more connective there than just telling them what it's all about. Um, you know, there, there are 
uh, emotive stories that you get out of it and, and people will get engaged uh, but that will only go so far you need something that really captures people the other thing is people will not necessarily connect with a celebrity especially if they're not very well known online so uh, I know that Len we care of you celebrities before um, but they were big on TV uh, but using them on YouTube uh, doesn't necessarily translate into lots of hits and views and ultimately conversions to actually get more money for the charity. So the key thing is to, uh, if you are going to use a top video blogger or blogger, is to make sure that they are actually quite popular in the first place. Uh, now simple things like view count, looking at how uh, engaged the community are, how much their community comments on their videos, um, that would be a good gauge as to whether they're likely to convert for you. Also looking and seeing if they've done similar things before. Uh, so Alex Day has gone out and done lots of stuff for charity before. Um, there are quite a lot of top YouTubers who have done a lot of fundraising things. Um, Charlie is so cool like and Miles Dyer and myself have worked on uh, UNICEF campaigns. Uh, running 24-hour webathons uh, for Stickaid, and you know those things are very engaging. You get you capture an audience, but that took quite a lot of people to get people online at one time. Uh, and you know we only raised uh, 20,000 uh, pounds in our top year, so it sounds like a lot of money, uh, but actually. Uh, for what you kind of want to do, you probably want to be raising a lot more than just £20,000. You probably want to be raising £100,000, if not millions. So, uh, you know, it's, it's all about getting the right audience, getting people aware, getting people engaged. It's, it's, very, it's a very tricky thing to just kind of um, look at your marketing budget and go, oh, okay, let's stick it all on sending somebody out to the Philippines for instance to cover a market trader. Is that really interesting? You have to think just uh, logically would I really want to watch that? Would I really kind of tune into that? So looking at the content itself is the key thing. You have to weigh up the cost benefit of actually uh, flying somebody out uh, to another country. Is it really worth it putting them up with the hotel and the expenses um, and all those overheads? will you get that return on investment? For most cases, you won't. Uh, you'll get awareness, uh, but it may not drive direct traffic to your website and certainly uh, not to raise funds. Uh, that's quite another thing altogether. Now, um, my recommendations are to think of exactly what kind of content you think will really engage with your audience, the people who are likely to invest in these kind of schemes and think of something that will really spark interest in a different way. So something like Lend With Care uh, where you are funding people to uh, create new dreams. You could do something around uh, a Dragon's Den style content uh, where uh, you hold um, different ways of how people would raise finance for instance or um, you could spark interest in a completely different way uh, that's the kind of route I would kind of go with for content uh, rather than the kind of tried and trusted uh, comic relief style content or uh, those infomercials that you see on TV uh, content wise you know you can you can get really imaginative in this space because uh, it's so different, you know, this kind of Kiva stuff you can really tie up really well with uh, Facebook, with um, Google+, uh, with Twitter, uh, and I would spend those marketing budget dollars uh, in those kind of spaces to uh, get your word out. Uh, YouTube advertising is fantastic, um, it just uses uh, Google, TrueView, uh, AdWords, and um, it's very easy and very efficient uh, way of spending your media budget. However, again, you just need to look at the anal uh, an analytics and really get to grips with whether you are getting the right level of investment or return on investment for the spend in each particular channel. Uh, you can measure the effectiveness quite well and you can see if you are getting returns 
Uh, if you are, just keep pumping money in those channels. Uh, if you're not, uh, then pull the budget back and put it into those things that will work. Uh, but you have to remember you have the um, thing against uh, awareness which is different to driving uh, direct uh, investment or in this case uh, raising cash for your charity. Those are two very different things um, but you can achieve a bit of both or you can achieve all awareness or um, just direct money. The direct money uh, that's media spend on things like Google, AdSense, AdWords sorry. Uh, and awareness, uh, you could get a big name celebrity to go out there but it may not translate into um, any cash at all. So uh, it's something to weigh up, uh, think about the content, think about um, capturing a new way to uh, think about how to communicate with your audience. Okay so anyone else if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop them down below in the uh, comment section here or go to the Google Plus communities uh, page uh, or the LinkedIn group that I've set up. All those details are in the description of this video and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Kwai Chi. Take care.